She's a graduate of Lehigh, and uh, one of my very good friends is now dean of the business school at Lehigh, whom you know, Georgette Phillips, uh, who came from UPenn. So we have uh, mutual friends in common, colleagues in common, so it seemed fitting. And uh, I invited you to join us for the for the next Tobin CEO seminar, and you, you graciously accepted, so, so welcome. Um, so I will jump right in, yeah, great. since I know we don't have much time. And, you know, you've been on a journey, an incredible personal, professional journey. I'm sure 10, 20 years ago, you did not dream that you would be CEO of one of the big four accounting firms. So my first question is, I was hoping that you could share some of your experiences with us as you, you took this journey to, to where you are now, and then maybe talk about some of the challenges and some of the opportunities along the way. Yes, thank you. And thank you so much. Thank you, President. And thank you, Dean, for having me here today. This is um, the fun part of my job. It's been a rough day today with dealing with lots of issues here in New York City, but uh, but so happy to be here. And um, just one thing, uh, Herb, thank you for your uh, gracious introduction. But one quick story about these Fortune Most Powerful Women lists. So, you know, the first year I became the CEO, I, I think I was ranked number 21 or something like that. And my daughter, who was entering college at the time, called me and said, Mom, do you know you're on this Fortune Most Powerful Women's List? I said, oh, yeah, I heard about it. It sounds really cool. She goes, no, Mom, you beat out Beyonce, who was number 50. <laughs> <laughs> so it didn't, matter, it didn't matter who else from the business world was on there, but I beat out Beyonce, who was ranked number 50. But anyway, it's, a, it's great to be here. So we started with our men and women as colleagues back in the 90s, and now, and then we went to cohort groups. Every company that you'll probably be employed by would have a BRG or an ERG, a business resource group or an employee resource group. But that's based on the cohort group you might identify with. But what we're seeing is a shift to our people wanting to feel included in all groups, not just the cohort group that might be based on race, gender, ethnicity, uh, LGBTQ+, et cetera. So we're seeing a lot more evolution of uh, people wanting to be in, in, in an inclusive environment, not just a diverse environment. 